Hey guys, Tommy here, back with another video. This is Zero Figure Anime, and I got something special to show you today. I had originally got her a while back, it was around December, but whenever she arrived, she actually arrived broken. If you've seen my videos or my pictures on Instagram or TikTok, you kind of know who it is. But if not, it is uh, Yumiko from Kakiguri. And whenever she arrived, she had originally arrived from Hobby Link Japan. And it wasn't their fault. It was actually a manufacturer issue. She has a lot of hair and that weighs a lot. So it broke around the neck area, which is the weakest part. Uh, supposedly it's supposed to survive, but with mine, and I know some other people who had the same issues, uh, it arrived with a broken neck, fortunately. So I had to get a replacement. Uh, fortunately, Hobby League Japan couldn't get me a replacement because they were already out of stock with the figure, uh, Yumiko. So I contacted them first to see if I could get a replacement, but they were like, fortunately, we don't have any. It would take a little bit for them to get it, and then they had to ship it to me. So it would have taken a lot longer for me to get it. So they advised me to go to the manufacturer and ask them to see if I can get a replacement from them. So they gave me a link. I click on it, and it was a good small company. So I went through their form. Uh, to get a replacement to claim form. So once I did all that, I emailed that to them to a good small company and it took about a couple of days for them to respond back and they asked for more information just to verify that I did purchase from Hobby Link Japan, which is a Japan website in Japan. So I did that. I gave them all of my information from my emails, so like my shipping invoice, my billing address, my billing invoice, a picture of the package. So like this right here, this is the front picture of the bots. And then they wanted me to verify the back of the bots. So I took a picture of that. So once I get that, they asked me to send a picture of the package itself. So I went ahead and sent this picture to them. It shows that it is the actual product and they have everything in it. The bunny ears, the stand, and the figure itself. And then once I send that, they asked me to send a picture of the damage and circle it in red. So I went ahead and sent this picture to them. As you can see, it is broken around the neck area so i sent that to them so once i sent all that to them it took about a couple of days for them to respond back they responded back saying yeah this is uh qualified to get a replacement so we didn't go ahead and send you a replacement body of the figure so once you receive it and then you just get rid of the old one that you have and then just use the one that they replace it with so it took a little bit they did say that it was going to take between 30 days of business days that would have been like two to three months a wait um, if you count the business days and everything. The only thing about that is they don't send you a tracking number so you don't really know when exactly you will receive it. You just have to hope that it will get here in the fast times. I sent all that to them around the middle of January so it took a little bit so I received it like towards the middle of February so it would have been about a month. Uh, so it was actually a lot faster than what they said it was. You don't have a tracking number, so you don't really know exactly when it will arrive, but it took me about a month for them to send out the figure. So once I received it, it was in a box. So like I said, they only send a replacement part for the body, not the stand or the bunny ears. So there was no point of me to give the one I have away or sell it. But I did end up giving it to one of my friends. Um, they're going to be using it as a custom and try to make their own little custom bunny figure. But the one I received, it did came in a pretty good shape. The only issue I had with that one was the head. Um, there's a couple paint chip on it as well, but nothing as bad as the one I had originally got. I would just have to kind of touch that up once I get the chance. But I'm going to go ahead and show you the bots, the figure, and how she looks and everything. So let me go grab that real fast and I come back. Alright, so here's the bots. Uh, this is the front of it. This is the side. This is the back. And this is the other side. I really love this bot because it gives out like a gambling kind of field, which is what the anime is. And she really looks beautiful right here. 
you can see how she looks in the back it has the full picture and then the side view and the back view so yeah this is the box that come with it this is the original box they didn't give me another box or anything for the second one but this is what she looks all right so this is yumiko and the bunny suit as you can see she is like in a classic casino bunny suit kind of matches the theme and she is holding some playing cards i really love this design it's like a very hot red suit and she has some cuffs around her wrist and as she go to the back you see that her hair is really big and beautiful i love how they space it out so you have the whole theme on the back of it it goes really well for what she is how her hair is and everything so i really love that design to the figure a lot of people had an issue with this figure originally because of her face uh, mainly because they say that it's a lot bigger than what she originally had uh, supposedly in the anime or the manga she has a more slinger face here it's more round so it looks a little bit more chubby but overall to me she looks very beautiful it you can really see that this is yumiko and the way she looks the way she's designed and all that so i really love this figure and i'm happy to finally actually have it after waiting a few months to get a replacement making sure that she isn't broken and everything so this is really a beautiful figure i'm happy to have her in my collection and i can't wait to display her with all my other bunnies and all that i would more than likely have her on the top shelf up here with all the other bunnies but yeah i just wanted to show you what happens if you run into issues like this where you have to get a replacement from a company that you can actually go to for a manufacturer if you have it to try and get it from where you bought it from but yeah this is a very simple process it was really easy to get a replacement i hope this helped anybody who might run into this issue but yeah this is yumiko in the bunny suit and i love her so much she is very beautiful I am going to be doing another video pretty soon. I'm gonna do a monthly video for, for January and February. There weren't really a lot of figures that came in for these two months. It was mainly a few bunny figures and a couple more things. But yeah, this is pretty much the video. I'm gonna go ahead and do a B-roll for this figure here. If you wanna see any more pictures or videos of this figure, you can go tune into my other social medias. So like TikTok, Instagram, Twitter. I have all that link in my descriptions. You can go ahead and look at that. But for now, I'm going to leave off from here. And I hope y'all have a great day. Bye.